Love is a beautiful thing. We know that. And uh, butterflies can, you know, uh, you can have butterflies in your tummy. Your heart rate can go up. Lots of things can happen when you're in a relationship. But there are also red flags that you need to look out for, uh, either when you're going into a relationship or when you're within that relationship itself. Now, Oinda Shudeo is going to be talking to us about some of these things. You're the expert, all right? <laughs> so, um, red flags. A lot of people go into relationships and at the end of the day, um, they come out with regrets. Yeah. Oh, I should have seen this or I should have known that. I was naive. Why is it important to begin to um, uh, look for such red flags and of course we'll talk about the red flags later but why is this this important even uh, to start with um good morning i'm glad you said a lot of people come out of relationships thank god they came out some yeah. people don't come out you mm. know and that that's why it's, it's important to know who you're investing your whole life with you know um relationships are not casual they, they, they take over your thinking, they take over your personality, they take over who you are. Mm. So you want to make sure that you, you, you're not so in love that you're blind. You have to see and don't make excuses for what you do see as red flags because that's usually the problem we'll get into it a lot of people do see these things but they make excuses they're like oh i'll change him i'll change her or it's not real you know this person gets me and you you don't pay attention to the pointers that look even if i do end up marrying this person or even if i do end up in a long-term relationship these are potential landmines that i need to pay attention to i like that you mentioned investment in in, mm. in your opening uh, remarks which is uh, investing time, is investing resources, mm. investing energy, investing yeah. emotions in, in something. Now, these are all things that come from us. Mm. You know, maybe you're putting all, all of those in, in another person. So what are the red flags we should begin to look for before making these kinds of investments, even if it's just emotional yeah. uh, at the initial stage? Well, some of the red flags you may want to look out for is, am I compatible with this person? You know, it's like, um, cause let, let's use um, education as an example. Right. Say maybe I'm someone who is um, career oriented or I want to go for my master's and I meet this person who has just an OND. Mm. That's not a problem there, really. But you need to know that that's a red flag or could be. Because what happens when I want to keep progressing and this person's pulling me back right. or we can't relate at a certain level intellectually, you know, or maybe our backgrounds are religiously different. Mm. It may not be a problem, but it's a potential red flag because there are questions you must answer. There are things you must tell yourself. If this doesn't change, am I able to live under certain circumstances, mm. Jensen, or violence, for example. You're not married to this person. He's already hitting you. She's hit, because I hear the lot of women he, he who hit now. Yeah. She's hitting you. That's a potential red flag. Don't say, don't make excuses and say, oh, if I didn't do that, if I didn't get him angry or get her angry. No, you need to address the fact that this person is displaying tendencies to be violent. Mm. This person, you know, probably doesn't know how to manage anger. Communication, that's a major red flag. Can I talk with this person? Or is there fear? I mean, you, you, you know, you're just in a relationship with someone and every time the person is coming, in fact, you're happier when the person mm. is not around. Wow. These are red flags. They're red flags. Now, let's talk about money. Okay. Because I know this is a big area in relationships, in marriages and, and all of that. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to money, what are the red flags to look out for? Well, the red flags you need to look out for is, for example, is this person able to manage money? Or... Have I started getting into debt since I started dating this person, you mm. know? Or am I compromising now just to make this happy f person happy financially? The person is very demanding, always asking exactly, for favors. Exactly, very demanding yeah. on you, you know? And even if this person is demanding and you're meeting up, you need to gauge, am I resent resentful inside me? Mm. Because you can appear to be happy on the outside, but if there's a red flag inside you hitting the person, why is he or she so demanding? Mm. Those are things you need to pay attention to financially, particularly the culture the person is bringing into your space. Exactly. You exactly. Know? So, so th these things are very, very important. So, um, so we've talked about red flags. And so when you discover these things and you begin to then have maybe second thoughts, right? Mm. Um, but are there situations where you can walk through these things when you discover them yeah. or do you just um, take your bags and run yeah. <laughs> yeah of course not i mean the essence of paying attention to the red flags is to see 
the degree of um, potential damage that could be done. There. Yeah. You see, you, you won't get a perfect relationship. So you can't walk away from everyone. If you walk away from one, what, what you know you're walking into yeah. with the next one. So some things can be discussed if they're not fundamental. Mm. For example, um, the influence, the ba my background growing up, you possibly may not be able to change it. So it's like, that's fundamental. Right. But then there's some things like, okay, sweetheart, I need you to go on a diet. I mean, those are things you can negotiate. Exactly. Uh, exactly. My, my religious um, beliefs, convictions are fundamental to who I am. So, you know, you need to know, can we talk about these things? Can this person change? And usually it's dangerous to expect change. So I recommend, worst case scenario, if this is what I'm getting, can I live with it? You see, to address red flags, you need to be honest. Right. right. You, need to, you need to confront it head on and be like, look, if this doesn't change, can I live with it? And would I be happy? Because you, a lot of people live with what I call better than nothing relationships. And you're like, why are you entering this? Like, ah, who else will ask me? It's better than nothing. So th this is really about being honest with yourself. Yes. First, before. It's about yeah. doing a self audit and being like, look, this, th this is a marathon. It's a long distance thing. Will I run the whole race without panting? And one thing I need us to pay attention to is people around you are not as in love. Mm. So parental approval sometimes is an indicator to help you. Mm. But it's just that a lot of times our parents shroud it in, uh, he's from this stage, he's from that stage. They don't really articulate um, their discomfort right. very well. Mm. But the fact that they're adamant should but make you pause. But some parents sometimes, I've heard that some parents is just their, their refusal to accept someone could just be based on intuition. They would say, oh, I don't like that lady. That's, that's exactly what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I just said it. They may not be able to articulate right. the reasons why they're reluctant, but that should give you pause. Because they can see they're not in love with this person. They're mm -hmm. not beclouded. Right. You know, right. So, so just pause. Take it easy and give it time. You can't rush a relationship. Because one of the things that people always talk about also is, especially women, mm. and you know, I'm, just, I'm not saying this um, in a derogatory manner, but um, because they're under pressure, You've, you've been waiting to meet someone for five years. Mm. Now you finally met someone. And then you're not asking me to look out for red flags. Let me tell you something, sweetheart. I'd rather you remain single, sane, and happy than for you to be in a relationship and be very miserable. Marriage is not a cure-all. Mm. That's the honest truth. There are a lot of married people who are truly single. True, I'm true. Telling I agree. You, yeah. They are married, but they are thoroughly single. So I'd rather you be happy. Society will attempt to put pressure on you, but you see, it's your life. Mm. The funny thing is most of the people who put pressure on you, they won't follow you beyond the reception. So once they wave at the reception, you're on your own. Exactly, exactly. So they're eating your food exactly, and they're gone, Exactly. Right? Don't yield to, to societal pressure. These are the same people who would come back and say, hey, but you saw now, why didn't you take it easy? Or why didn't you tell us? <laughs> <laughs> so sweetheart, just take it easy and ask yourself if this person doesn't change because the person probably wouldn't change right can i live with this if you can't live this with it either slow down or take a walk wow thank you so much Yonida, uh, uh, for joining us this morning as usual your talks are always deep and of course they hit the heart thank yes. you so much for uh, talking to us